just here in the Pittsburgh airport. Uh, it's a nice airport. I've never been in this airport before. It's like a giant shopping mall. Planes. Anyway, um, so obviously you guys, hopefully by now I've got the video. It was a little late getting out. Uh, Kelly was out of town and uh, she had to edit it and she had to drive back and whatever. Either way, uh, it should be going out now, soon, or already has. This uh, is in reference to two things, three things. One, the race is today. I guess four things. The race is today, uh, what took place today at the Meadows. The sale today of our horses. We sold 12 horses today in uh, Delaware. It's not Delaware now. Uh, I don't know where the hell it is. Ohio. And then we bought six babies yesterday in Ohio also. And um, obviously the draw for Sunday is out. We'll start with that. Um, listen, it's racing. What are you going to do? Uh, Compass Rose DC drew the worst place in the world on a half mile track. How did James put it? We entered, or how did Jason put it? We entered four horses and 50% of them drew the worst spot in the track. Compass Rose and Yes drew eight. Globe Trotting drew the middle of the gate. I'm okay with that. Um, and then uh, a good draw for a spend that money and she needed that. Um, three hole for her. <coughs> Obviously not exactly what we wanted, especially with Kiki Mora and the other favorites drawing inside of Globe Trotting. But if she has an error free race, I'm. I'm uh, I'm confident she'll do very well on Sunday. Uh, yes, uh, he's going to have to be above and beyond the best he's ever been on Sunday if we're to get a big chunk of the 300000 he's racing for. And uh, hopefully, as I said, spend that money in, in Compass Rose. She's always found a way to drive into a photo or uh, at least onto the board or get a check. She's uh, never been worse than fourth, only been worse than second once. And... Um, She's got her work cut out for her, but she's a good filly. We'll see what takes place. This isn't it for them. They still have uh, Delaware. They'll probably race for forty, fifty thousand dollars in Delaware, and then Globe Trotting has the Breeders' Crown up at Mohawk. Uh, in reference to that's the draw. In reference to uh, what else? The sale. Um, you guys got all the video and all the information you need or should need on the six horses we purchased. I was very, very happy with them. Um, the most we spent was twelve five. The exact amount was $56,000 American as of the sale today. It was a little weak for some horses. Very disappointed with the sale of Time Kazam for a big trotting colt. I was shocked that he only brought $4,200. That, uh, that was well below what I would have thought market price was for him. Um, Crazy Mission was a little bit above what I was worried he would go for, so we sold him. Yours, if you want it, was just a tick above where we were protecting him to at 13000 he sold for $14,000. Uh, the surprise of the day was Cheat and Dixie selling for $13,000. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I was a little bit surprised, I guess, on both ends. I thought Screaming Hawk was a little bit lower. We were offered a little more money for him last week um, than he went for today, but I really thought he would bring $14,000. It's a funny thing about the sale. I mean, once you're there... Sure, you can cut bait. We sold Sunshine Inn, and I think that was probably a wise decision in, the, in hindsight. Uh, would she have brought 18000 Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. And um, I think the sale of her was uh, timely and opportune. Um, I can't, I'm not going to complain about the sale. I think she might have brought eighteen anyway. She may not have. But she definitely did because we sold her before the sale. Um, who else did we sell? Oh, so were we needy. Or were where we ultra and um, so one more oh uh, Tiamo Hanover was sold before the sale that was three that were out and then uh, the sale itself was okay uh, the total for 12 horses was 98,400 so they averaged I, I, get, I guess if you factor in Sunshine Inn sale before the sale it was just under $17,000 for 13 horses so about 11,000 each it's not the end of the world I think uh, the average was fair. I think some were drastically low. I, well, I guess I wasn't surprised to see you in Tuscany. That was, uh, uh, I guess, far too long in the making. And uh, that happens, I guess. Um, a little frustrated over him and, and the whole situation with him, as I'm sure all of our clients are that owned him. And uh, obviously the breeders and more, more ladies. I mean, um, I can only imagine how upset you guys are. But at the same time... Closure. Um, I think we exhausted all avenues as far as racing these horses, getting them back going good. 
when it came to the horses in particular. I'm talking about Delcrest Star Angel. 12-5 uh, for her, I think, was fair. Um, I think she's going to be a better horse in the future, but I don't know when that future is or when that day will happen. So we had to make the decision to sell her. The same as Just a Tad, Screaming Hawk. There's a number of them. So overall, I believe we made the right decision. Um, you, can't, you can't pick and choose as the sale's going. That's the thing about sales. Uh, I think we did well at the yearling sale. We sold $56,000 worth of horses. Or, sorry, we sold $116,400 worth of horses and purchased $56,000 back. Now, those two numbers mean nothing because many of the clients that are selling, it certainly doesn't mean that they're back in on yearlings. So um, just an overview of what took place. And then this afternoon, I went to uh, the Meadows. I thought Patho Totality raced well. The favorite kind of rolled up into my grill in the last turn and put me away. One thing I will say about her, she come back on down the lane, so I'm thinking maybe her feet are bothering her a little bit. She didn't trot the far turn as well as she did the first two turns. So the first turn she trotted great, yet or the same turn in the last in the, the last part of the race, she stalled a bit and allowed the horse to come up and get, in, get her in his sights. You know, horses are much like humans. That horse, once it started getting closer and closer and closer to me, you can see it in the video, it really, you know, dug in. And um, I think the only reason he got anywhere near me was because she stalled a bit in the last turn and then come on again down the lane. That is an attitude, that's a little bit of soreness. Um, I thought she was leaning in on the gating strap a little bit more in the last turn, which leads me to believe that maybe something in the right hind's biting at her a bit. I think that was enough to make get her into the Stallion Series final, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so hopefully she'll race next, a week from Monday. Uh, unfortunately, her stable mate, um, just for me and you, is a little problematic. I knew, and, and Felix knew, Tim knew, we would have to be first or second, even make a mathematical bid, M much the same position as Sebastian Yu was in the other night. And a short field, a seven horse field, you know they're going to go 28, 58, which they did, 127 mile, 56 and 3, to get away fifth, sixth, seventh, close into a 58 and 3 half to a faster mile than you've ever gone before. It's just not going to happen. I knew I had to get her out of there and get her in a position, and she just made a little miscue leaving the gate. I mean, these are the, the calculated risks that frustrate me, and I'm sure our clients, when uh, they don't go, go our way. But at the same time, um, it was a risk I had to take. If I was having, if we were going to get into the final, she had to be first or second. She had to be close to the leaders or cut the mile, you know, and, and command the lead. And it just didn't work out. So she made a break today and finished seventh. Um, she'll come back maybe nine winners one, nine winners of two. If we're confident in, in her, how fresh she is, and if she's improving, then we will uh, take her. She's got the Keystone Classic, the Simpson, Liberty Bell, I believe. So she's got some stakes left. Uh, if we want to bring her to those stakes. And they're during Grand Circuit time, so the top-level horses likely won't be there. So again, you're racing against the middle of the order as far as uh, sire stakes go, as, as the Pennsylvania sires, and then probably lots of the Stallion Series. So we'll see. We'll try and gauge how, how uh, Just For Me and You is over the next week, probably race her in a maiden. I would suspect she'll probably win a maiden. Um, she's good right now. She just doesn't have a lot of luck all the time so we'll see if we can get her back on track and uh, get her into the winner's circle next week hopefully and then we'll make a decision on where she will go after this so that is it that's what took place today a lot of action I'm not as tired as I was yesterday uh, a little sharper and uh, I'm heading back to Ontario now so the tickets the, the plane tickets were too much to fly back to Ontario today and tomorrow at a Pittsburgh so it was either go drive West 52nd tomorrow in Columbus or head back uh, to Ontario uh, a different route. So I looked and there was a flight into Buffalo. It was about a little less than half of the flight to Toronto and Billy Davis is a good friend of mine. He races in Buffalo and Batavia. He's racing in Batavia tonight. He's going to pick me up at the airport so I'll drive the rest of the way back to Ontario with Billy Davis. And then uh, tomorrow, for those of you in the area, we get six horses to break. Uh, we have made a decision already. Uh, I saw the show that GW Chrome put on yesterday uh, in the sale. He is going to be castrated immediately. Uh, one, the sire, break the bank K. Those horses get really hot to begin with. And this guy's already a firecracker. So we're going to nip this in the bud right away. Uh, the vet is coming tomorrow, and he's going to castrate GW Chrome. So um, 
So I guess he won't be broke. Five to break tomorrow morning. If you're around Campbellville, you're around Tomiko Training Center, might be a good day to stop by. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. I'll be home in Ontario by midnight tonight. Take care.